Now let's see how a firm achieves equilibrium under short run in the monopolistic competition. Our conditions remain the same as they were in perfect competition and monopoly. So can you tell me what were the conditions? The conditions were first MC should be equal to MR. Second MC should be cutting MR from below. Let's check. Yes, it's MC equal to MR and MC curve must cut MR curve from below. Now let's try to see if the firm is earning profits or it is incurring losses. Now you can see that there is a demand curve and there is MR curve. AR and demand curve are same in monopolistic competition. And if you notice, you can find that AR and MR curve look almost similar as they were in the monopoly. So if you want the derivation of the curves, you can refer the section wherein we derive the shape of the curves under monopoly because it's completely same. So both are downward sloping and MR curve is inside the AR curve or the demand curve. Now this is the MC curve. You can see that MC curve is cutting the MR curve at this point which is named as E. So this becomes our equilibrium point wherein OM is the equilibrium quantity. Now what we'll do? We'll move up from the equilibrium to the AC curve. AC curve or the ATC curve, it's the same thing. Average cost curve or average total cost curve, both are same. So this will give us the cost. You go up from the equilibrium point till the average cost curve and then go parallel to x-axis till the y-axis or draw a perpendicular from that point to y-axis. You will get the cost. Again, you go from equilibrium to the revenue curve which is the average revenue curve and from that point you draw a perpendicular to y-axis. Now you can see that the revenue is more than the cost. So you have a case of supernormal profits. So this is the region that will give you supernormal profits. Is that clear? Now let's see the case for loss. In what condition will a monopolistic firm incur losses? Again our condition remains the same. First MC equals to MR will give you equilibrium point. Second on equilibrium point compare cost and revenue. So we have the MC curve here, we have the MR curve, we can see that MC curve is intersecting the MR curve at point E. Now from here, move up from the equilibrium point, move up till the cost curve, till the point edge that is 
average cost curve so you will get your cost draw a line perpendicular to y axis from there again to know the revenue move up from the equilibrium point till the average revenue curve that will give you the revenue and from that point draw an a segment which is perpendicular to y axis so the rectangle that you get will give you the amount of losses that you have incurred this is the amount of loss that you have incurred now why is this the amount of loss it's because your cost is more than your revenue you can see your average cost curve is higher at the equilibrium point than the average revenue curve at point e the average cost curve is higher than the average revenue curve and thus when cost is more than the revenue you will get losses so for loss equals to cost minus revenue or when cost is more than revenue it will result in loss you can look at it any which way you want